I'll have a look at a, uh, a monitor problem that we've got. Uh, what happens is when you uh, you boot the uh, the PC up, all we're getting is a, a white screen on the monitor. Um, now we've got a display on the uh, on the second monitor, but this first monitor uh, we've got no display. So uh, I'm going to have a look. And see what we can do. Now that's all we get is just a white, uh, a white screen. As you can see, we've got a display, and if we leave it for about half an hour with it switched on like this, then turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on again, uh, we do get a display come up. So I'm thinking uh, it's possibly a, a voltage problem. So uh, let's have a look and see if we can uh, see anything inside that uh, is causing the problem. Okay, so after a bit of uh, fighting with it, I've managed to get it out. It didn't have any uh, any screws holding this monitor in. It uh, it was all done by uh, clips round the edges, which uh, you had to pry off, which was a bit of a nightmare. So let's have a look. The next thing we want to do is get these uh, these screws out and get this cover off for the power supply, and then we can have a look inside there and see. If we can see any uh, any problems on the power okay. supply there, so we've got the cover off, and there's nothing obvious that jumps out at me straight away. Uh, what I do notice is that uh, on the board it's been marked up, so it looks like something has been changed at some point. Um, I don't recall changing it. Not to say that I didn't, but um, that one looks loose as oh, there. Look at that. But there's no bulging in the caps or anything. So I'm going to get this power supply out and just have a, a look at it and see if we can see what the problem is and I'll um, I'll get the ESR meter on these caps although that one that's really loose all right let's uh, let's pull this board out okay let's move that out of the way so straight away I noticed that this is loose and if we look underneath if you can see that. That one there is pretty damn loose. Let me just have a quick look under the uh, microscope. Yeah, that's uh, pretty trash, that. It doesn't even look like the trace has uh, been attached there. But I don't recall changing this. Seventeen twelve oh nine. You know, can't remember. Uh, right, let me find the ESR meter, which should be kicking around somewhere around here. Stick these on for now. A bit tight for space. So it's that one there.
0.859 that was, 0.859 and it's a 1000 microfarads at 50 volts, 1000 mics at 50 volts, 1000 mics at 50 volts, 63, 0.05, 0.05, what did we say it was? 0.83 just uh, zero that out let's make sure up I need more room. Not point not five four. So hang on, let me get my hand out of the way so you can see. Don't want anyone complaining. Can't see what you're doing because your bloody hand's in the way. Normally what I get. Oh my days. Hang on, let me change the probe to the other ones. He says that I can't reach. to zero out last time I think that was the problem. Let me just have a look. There is zero in. Let me just have a look. Got a project here I've been working on that's in the bloody way. Just uh, I can move that up a bit. Oh, could do with another three benches in here. Is it? Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that cap. It just looks like it's um, not stuck on there. You can see that. Where is he? That one there. Where my finger is. Okay, so I'm going to have a look, see if I've got, um, what are they, 2009, according to that, that was changed, it says 25 volts, 1000 microfarads, and uh, it's been replaced with 50 volt 1000 mics, so I should imagine... I'm going to quickly check these other two, just have a quick, uh, quick shifty. Is 
Zero. Just check that zero on that. Did a zero then. Did. Zero point zero four six. So that's good. Then we got these ones here. Is that one there? Oh, two two one. Oh, two two one. That is a. That is a. I can't see it. Ten volts, thousand mics. Thousand mics, ten volts. 0.12, so that is quite high that. So on that basis, let's check that again. Yeah, 0.249 I'm getting on that. If you can see this with me hand in the bloody way. Or 1.93. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to replace all of these. So let me just 1010, 1010. I don't know what that one is. Those little ones as well. Let's see if I'm, so I don't know if I've got any of those. Not two oh six. Not two oh six, and that is that is that is what it is. Can't even see it. <laughs> Thing that's four seventy. 470 10 volts, 470 10 volts, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.193, so their little ones are alright. Can you imagine it's just that that's the problem? But let's have a look, see what we've got, and then we'll replace them. Okay. Let's have a look then, shall we? So. I think we said them ones were alright, didn't we? Just double check again before I uh, pull them out. Yeah, 0 0.67, 0 0.067, so they're good. So let's get that warmed up. And I'm going to drop those two out there because I think they're the culprits because of the, um, if you look how close they are to the heat shield here, they're probably getting a lot of heat from the, um, from the heat sink, which is probably causing the problem with these caps, but that one there, 
is loose but I can't actually see whether the traces broke away or whether it's just um, just shot. Right now then what I normally do as well is with these before I change them I normally put a little dot on the minus side so that when we pop them out we put them back in the right way just in case you just um, pull them out and then forget the orientation that you pulled them out on just makes life a bit easier sometimes Right, we want to temper it char. actually marked on the board this time so it's not too bad sometimes I've had boards where they haven't, um, they haven't marked them so that's them two there I'm just going to stick these on here now so that we can see what we're doing just curiosity Not point not 0.03 and thousand microfarads at 25 volts you 0.08 and at 35 it's 0.07 and at 63 0.05 0.027 so I'd say they're all right considering the placement of them and Let's just check this one. Not point not seven. Not point not five. So that's pretty good as well. So we can safely say that they're all right. Not point not eight four. That's ten volts thousand. Ten volts thousand is zero point one two. So that's good. So they're all right. So I don't think there's a problem with the caps there. I think it was just the case that that one was loose. To be honest with you. So. back in there and oh, mates 
and he's falling off. Need a bigger bench. Right now then, where are we at? So I'm Do those two afterwards because I want to see why they was loose. A bit more heat on me, are you? Let's go with that So we've decided that these are alright. I think... I think that might have lost its trace actually, that one. It looks a bit burned. Yeah, I think. Now let's check this before I put it in, make sure it's uh, a good one. It is new, but I don't know how long it's been in the box. 0.03, 0 to 0 0.08, 0 .08. so that's good. Good, 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 good. And it looks as though. I'm going to stick a new one in there, we'll look at that. Is that bigger than the last one? That must be what the, uh, the trouble is. Now, hopefully, I'll solve the problem. 
and Let's have a look see if it is uh, Okay. What I've done, I don't know if you can see that there, this one here, the trace, it broke away from the ball, that's why it was flopping around, and um, I've soldered it onto the, uh, the trace that runs alongside with it, so that should be. A good connection now and hopefully that was what the problem was Okay, right, let me get it back together, plug it in and see if we've got, uh, got a turn on. Okay, so I've just loosely uh, put it all back in there, just put the cover back on just so we can test it. Um, now I did power it up a minute ago and it didn't work, so I took it back to the, uh, the bench there and I found another capacitor that had blown. So that's all working now and power's on and off. Just knock the, uh, the cable out of the back. Just hang on a sec. One hand. Do this with one hand. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Power off. Power on, and it fires up straight away. So it turns out that uh, after all that, it was uh, this little one here that was by another transistor in there, and um, this is reading 4.9, I think it was, on the uh, ESR. In fact, let's just have a go. See if I can do this. Okay, yeah, four point uh, four point one nine, four point two, and if I remember rightly, is it ten volts? No, I think it is ten volts. It's a uh, thousand mics at ten volts. Uh, thousand mics, ten volts should be zero point one two, and as you can see, it's reading uh, four point three nine. So that was the uh, the culprit there. It. Um, it was feeding a uh, transistor, and um, that was what was causing it not to uh, not to power on. So there you go. Uh, okay, I'll call that uh, that done. Just got to uh, put it back together, which hopefully will just clip into these clips. It was a pain to get out. I had to get a, a pry in there and, and pop it off. So hopefully that'll go on uh, nicely and. Uh, we shouldn't have any more problems with it for a while. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you hit that subscribe button, you'll get updates as and when we put new videos up. And also look out for the um, uh, the Whisper uh, project that we're working on. The part two should be out pretty soon. I just, um, I've got it all built. Just need to uh, make the uh, second part of the, uh, the video there. So thanks for watching. And look out for part two of the, um, the Whisper.